Hey YouTube, Brian LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, The Amazing Spider-Man number 20 review. Uh, we have a variant cover here. A really great um, variant cover, Stormbreakers uh, var variant cover. This is the, uh, I guess, kind of an Ant-Man uh, Stormbreaker as we see the large Spider-Man, you know, taking over a building. So kind of like, uh, you know, I guess giant man. Um, but let's jump into the story. Um, this is part two of a little bit of a break after Dark Web. So here is the creative team. We have some fill-ins. Uh, Joe Kelly is the writer and Terry Dodson, the artist and colorist. Um, and so we'll, we'll talk. So let's jump into the story and we pick up where we left off from last issue. Um, Spider-Man and Black Cat were on a little retreat for the weekend, a little getaway to a spa in upstate New York, and they ran into White Rabbit and her little side hustle of selling or giving, um, you know, normal people uh, a little uh, slice of life as being a superhero. She had some tech that she borrowed from uh, Tombstone, and she kind of created this little side hustle. And so now we have Peter uh, or Spider-Man uh, teaming up with Black Cat and White Rabbit trying to um, deal with these uh, folks that were on board for this, you know, getaway villain weekend with uh, White Rabbit's tech. And so, you know, they're dealing back and forth trying to stop this team. The owner, of the, the leader of the team and the owner of the, I guess it's kind of like a tech startup, uh, was presumed dead last issue. And, you know, the these team members basically said, look, we don't want to take the rap for this. So, you know, they're going to try to deal with White White Rabbit and Black Cat and, and Spider-Man and try to get away. Uh, and so that's kind of why we have this little battle going on. And we see them kind of going back and forth. A um, lot of action scenes and some little um, story, you know, White Rabbit talking to Black Cat about her relationship with Spider-Man. And then Peter's uh, is friends with uh, Kareem here, who is kind of uh, White Rabbit's uh, muscle or, you know, sidekick. We saw Kareem in uh, some earlier issues. He actually helped Spider-Man. And so it's, it's kind of they, they're paired off and they're kind of talking a little bit about life and relationships. And so is White Rabbit and uh, Black Cat. And I've actually found I found it. I found the writing really well, uh, d really you know done really well. It was kind of your classic Spider-Man stuff with these little, you know, stories and, and quips. And so, you know, White Rabbit saying, you know, look, Black Cat, you know, you can do better than than Spider-Man. You know, you, you, you're kind of playing down here. And then, you know, Kareem is basically saying, look, you know, I, I, I'm not sure I want to be a bad guy, but once you're a bad guy, you can't get out of it. And so there's this fun little banter that's going back and forth between the two different pairs. Um, and so, you know, as, as they're dealing with this, um, you know, team of teched up normal people, I guess <laughs> you would say. And so, you know, they're kind of back and forth. And then we, you know, we come to find out that the, um, leader of the group was not, uh, killed last issue. He basically did this as a test to his team to see if they would be loyal. Uh, and they were. And so, you know, again, Peter and, and Felicia and everybody are dealing with them and they uh, ultimately take them down, you know, and now it's now it's the decision time what they want to do with these, you know, regular people who have now, you know, done some bad things. And so they basically come to a conclusion that they're going to destroy the tech and let uh, White Rabbit and Kareem go. Uh, and, and again, they're, they're just some the banter back and forth uh, between, you know, the two kind of pairs, Kareem and White Rabbit and Black Cat and Peter Parker. Spider-Man was really enjoyable. Um, but ultimately, you know, Kareem and White Rabbit, you know, head on their way. Um, or And then, you know, Peter basically says, look, we, we can't let them get away. And, he said, and Black Cat realizes, yeah, I, I know we can't. You won't let that happen. And so the tech is destroyed. White Rabbit and Kareem uh, head off, but they are basically captured at some point. And then we finally see that Peter Parker admits to um, Black Cat that he's truly over MJ 
and that, you know, he's ready to move on. And then we see the big reveal here, and then they're, you know, moving forward. So one thing I wanted to mention was that I really enjoyed the writing. Um, I thought that it was kind of very old school Spider-Man. So Joe Kelly did a really good job there. But I wasn't totally sold on Terry Dobson's art. Um, you know, some of the pages looked really good, really good detail. Black Cat and Spider-Man were drawn really nice. But then there's some panels that not a lot of detail almost almost very like sketchy like and almost hard to tell what's going on in panels like this but then you see the detail here same thing here some of these action scenes were very um i, I don't want to say sloppy but just not a lot of detail and it was actually kind of hard to tell what was going on but then others were not so overall wasn't too excited about the art um, i think it took away distracted a little bit from you know the presentation but the the writing was done really well um this was you know a two-story arc uh after dark web and now we're getting into a new story arc that hopefully finally tells us what was going on with um peter parker and mary jane so overall this two little two little story you know arc two book arc break from the dark web was was pretty good uh, you know it wasn't wasn't bad um, I think it was kind of just like a bridge to get to the next, you know, bigger story arc in this volume of Spider-Man. So overall, you know, thinking about the five webhead uh, review system, five being the best, one being the worst, we're going to go right in the middle. We're going to go two and a half. Uh, like I said, the storyline, the writing, I really enjoyed artwork, felt like a little bit of a distraction at points with some of those, um, you know, not too detailed uh, panel. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 20. If you've been reading this, what did you think of this two little um, story arc after Dark Web? And we'll see you for issue 21 soon. Thanks.